you know, we watched the Eras tour and we just thought it was amazing. But now, you know, thinking back and, and, and knowing what she was going through kind of a little bit, obviously we don't know exactly what she was going through, but we, we know the story. Yeah. Um, you, you appreciate it like so much more. Get strong. Get strong. What's up, J2R family? We're back again. I'm Johnny. I'm Jeremiah. And welcome back to Swift Sunday. So today, we got Taylor Swift, I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. But before you remember not part of J2R family or your first time on our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon. If you haven't seen our previous reactions to Taylor Swift, put a card up here. Link description below. You guys can check those out. If you want to see them early, head over to our Patreon account where you can also check out the Reputation Tour, the Eras Tour, the Speak Now Tour, the 1989 Tour, Lovers in Paradise, and Miss Americana. I think that was all of them. Was all of them. And there might be some more stuff on there too that I forgot. I don't know. But you can check out a bunch of stuff on our Patreon account. So head over there after this. But this is I Can Do It with a broken heart what do you think you got nothing i was still trying to like cook something up you know what i'm saying but i can um, smell something burning <laughs> i can do it with a broken heart um i'm thinking that uh i'll let you go first <laughs> uh, i can do it with a broken heart i feel that you know even though her heart is broken she'll move on she'll live she'll get through it she won't let it bring her down um she just knows how to keep fighting and coming back every time and she's not gonna let a broken heart tear her apart. Okay, okay, that sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna just go with your idea because I don't wanna waste too much of you guys' time. You I don't want you to either. I don't want to sensitive. The, the, the song. So we're gonna see what happens. We'll hop to the video. Let's do it. I can read your mind. That's pretty cool. It's part of the air tour. The time of her life. There in her glittering prime, the lights refract sequence stars are for silhouette every night. Yeah, I'm all, I think this song is probably just about her. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, like uh, like her on stage or whatever. I'm thinking about because he has like this little video up here of her on the, with the Ares tour and everything like that. Maybe this song is about like her being on the Ares tour, and maybe she had a broken heart at that time. You know I, I, mean? I think, I, I, if I'm not wrong, I think that's when uh, her and Joe had broke up, was right before she went on the Eras tour, or it was yeah. right when she started the Eras tour, if I remember right. So I'm almost wondering if this song was like... So uh, it might be that. about how like she was feeling every night, you know, performing. Yeah. There in her glittering prime, the lights refract, sequence stars are for silhouette every night. I can show you lies. That's crazy. Cause I'm a real tough kid. I can handle my shit. They said, babe, you gotta fake it till you make it. And I did. Lights, camera, yeah. bitch, smile. Even when you wanna die. He said he loved me all his life. But that life was too short. Breaking down, I hit the floor. All the pieces of me shattered as the crowd was chanting more. This is sad as fuck, dog. But I tell you what, you know I what makes it amazing? Is that she, she, can, a positive. she can share it with us and let us know how she really felt because we didn't see it. Yeah. We didn't see what was going on while she was performing. We just saw a performer giving everything they had. Yeah. But we didn't see what she really felt inside. So now we know. Now we know how broken she was inside doing that for us every night. And you can appreciate it even more. Yeah. That's true, though. That's true, though. I like the way you put that. As the crowd was chanting more, I was grinning like I'm winning. I was hitting my marks. Cause I can do it with a broken heart. I'm so depressed, I act like it's my birthday. Every day. I'm so obsessed with him, but he avoids me. Like a plague. Crucial evidence I didn't imagine the whole thing, I'm sure. 
I'll tell you what, bro. If anything, this is very inspirational. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? That 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 just proves that you can pretty much do anything as long as your mind is set. You know what I mean? I mean, her just doing this with a broken heart. She even said that every day she would act like it's her birthday. Almost probably just to just like make her like cheer up. To be to able to go down through, there and have yeah. the energy to get through everything. You know what I mean? That's just crazy, bro. Like, because you wouldn't even know. You wouldn't even know, man. We were at to the whole Aries tour. There was not one, like, sad face or anything. She was smiling the whole entire time. Just looked like she was having an amazing time. You know what I mean? You would never fucking know. That's what's crazy to me, bro. That really is. She said, try and come for my job. She said, try to do this. Damn. That was a hell of an ending. But I tell you what, man, like I said, bro, for me, I felt that was very inspirational right there. That was just crazy. It really fucking was. I mean, just her getting up every day, doing the same thing over and over again, pretty much, and just putting a smile on her face, just acting like everything was okay, pretty much acting like it was her birthday every day, just to get through everything that she was going through. I mean, that's got to be super hard. It's got to be super tough, you know what I mean? But, I mean, she's strong. You can see she's a strong woman. And then just, like, uh, I'm assuming that this happened during the Ares tour and everything like that, but, I mean, you can't even tell. You can't tell that she was, like, in any type of, like, mood or she was sad or anything. She looked happy the whole entire time, looked like she was enjoying everything going on. And she just looked like she was having an amazing time with the fans and yeah. everything. So that's what's really fucking crazy. That's, like, mind-blowing. It really fucking is that the character that she portrays is, like, different than, than like, how she really kind of feels, you know what I mean? That's just, it, it, it blows me away. It really fucking does, bro. I mean, that was just amazing. A beautiful fucking song, beautifully written and everything like that it was crazy too how at the end she was like come and take my job you know what i'm saying like try doing this you know what i mean i i feel like she's probably the only person who fucking does it the way she does to be honest i mean that was just amazing though i really enjoyed the song and everything that was beautiful it really was what do you think John? you know we watched the Eras tour and we just thought it was amazing but now you know thinking back and, and and knowing what she was going through kind of a little bit obviously we don't know exactly what she was going through but we we know the story yeah um you you appreciate it like so much more and you kind of like feel bad at the same time that you know you didn't appreciate what she was going through you just watched her perform and, and that's what you took from her and she gave us everything she had she gave us all of her and so, you know, that's just really amazing that she was able to put her feelings aside to perform for everybody there to make sure that their feelings were um, fulfilled. Sure. And that's just an amazing thing that I think Taylor Swift is one of the, maybe one of the only artists that would do something like that. You know, I've heard of other artists that cancel their shows because this happened or that happened or they don't show up. I've never heard of her doing that. Yeah. She plays in the rain. She plays when it's pouring outside. She plays when it's cold. Um, but that just, you know, makes... I think everybody appreciate her at least a little bit more, if not a lot more. Definitely. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not part of J2R family, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Patreon.